junior fans here with another episode of Stall Talk. As always, Tyler Davey here with head coach Garrett Strote coming off the first road trip of the year. A very successful one up in Charleston, South Carolina. Four games, four wins. Saturday, business as usual. Sunday, a little bit of adversity both teams faced. What did you learn about them? Well, I know, you know, at the first couple of weeks of not playing, you know, really wasn't sure we were getting. And, and Saturday, both teams, uh, especially Premier, really came out and, and they were really going and uh, really moving the puck. And even their coach made a comment afterwards about, you know, how well we were moving the puck and kind of took it to them. And we had like 87 attempted shots on that that game. Uh, and then Saturday, you know, we had that good energy on Saturday. I mean, and then Sunday, you know, it was we dropped a little bit. But both teams still played well. Um, the uh, elite team for the first time was behind. They'd never done that before. But they responded really well. And, and their team just got such really good depth that uh, they just kind of keep going and going and going. And then uh, eventually they kind of started pulling away. And then with the uh, uh, premiere, I, I thought, we were, again, we uh, fired over 50 shots on goal. And, and I, that was a game we deserved to win. And, and so it was good to see, even though they tied it up, with the, to get the, the extra point in the shootout. We had him on Stall Talk last week, Coach Philip Kubo. What kind of impact has he made? Oh, he's been a huge impact. A, a guy with his experience and his background, I mean, it's just... It, you know, just to have him just, not even just a defenseman, but just the forwards and just the little things and little nuances uh, and that, just having him at practice uh, all the time with both teams and we're on the bench with both teams, it's been, a, it's been really big and he does a lot of video with it, with uh, different groups and stuff like that and been working with our power play. And today on Stall Talk, we're going to have on the two leading scorers, Aaron Frankel and Adam Cuspel. What have you seen from those guys this year? And they both have taken another step, even from last year. Uh, Aaron actually had a really, you know, really good year last year, but he's really taken that next step. And I think a lot of it, he he took it seriously this off season, and uh, and you can see he's got an extra step in his game. And then Adam is, uh, he's really gone to another level uh, this year. He's really made a big jump from last year and been really happy with the way he's playing. This weekend, you welcome in the Florida Junior Blades. It's a home-and-home -home series with them. They're coming off the Premier Team, their first two wins of the season. And they started 0-8, but then swept Atlanta. When you're struggling like that, what can wins do for a team's confidence? Oh, that's big. Yeah, and it was big for them to get a couple wins because uh, I've had t years where we've started off 0-8, and, and it's tough. And that first win is huge, and it kind of you know, kind of snowballs from there. Things start going better, and I'm sure they picked up a few guys. I think they picked up a goalie, and... Uh, so, no, I expect them that they're going to be tough to play. Junior fans is head coach Garrett Stroke. Coach, thank you very much. Thank Junior you. Junior fans here with the USPHL Florida Premier Forward of the Week, Aaron Frankel. Aaron, incredible weekend for you in Charleston. Four goals and an assist. But most importantly, I want to talk about something that won't go on the stat sheet as a goal. That shootout goal, third round, do or die, you don't score, game's over. What's going through your head? Well, I kind of just knew I had to score. We weren't very happy about the loss we had a couple weeks ago to them, and it was a game we definitely deserved to win, and we just wanted to pull it out no matter what we had to do. You mentioned that game against them a couple weeks ago. That was the last time you guys played, which felt like three years, but it was really yeah. three weeks. But how would you guys stay focused in that time? Uh, I think our coaches helped a lot with that. You know, we, we had some good practices, and we just we knew it was going to be a bit of a different year. And coming in, we knew we could face some adversity with that. And we just we were really excited to finally get a couple games in, and I think we played really well. And last year, you started eight points in 10 games. It's a good start, but to your standard now, 16 and six. I mean, what's the difference this year? I, I think the familiarity. It's been a while since I've had the same line mates back to back years, and that just really helped. I think we click really well, and we're playing well right now. And talk about one of your line mates, Stanley Lucas. You two have been ripping it up. Is there going to be a friendly competition all year? Uh, yeah, I think there is. We both want each other to do really well. and. You know, it doesn't really matter if year has the most, but obviously it's something we kind of keep an eye on. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we just want to win as many games as we can. Junior fans, this is Premier Forward Aaron Frankel. Thank you. Thank you. Go. Junior fans here with the leading score in the entire elite division, Adam Custable, 14 points in your first six games. And Adam, you're coming off a year last year. You only had 17. And now 14, you almost matched the entire output. What do you attribute that to? Um, great line mates. Uh, more confident this year. Just everything's clicking. And you mentioned that those line mates, Ryan Bavula, Jack Blair, it seems like everything that you guys touch turns to gold right now. Where's the confidence with that line? Um, it just came from our first game together, put up two or three. We just kept building from that. You guys are 6-0-0. Oh, oh. You're blowing opponents away. On paper, everything is perfect. But what work still needs to be done? Uh, we just have to bear down, stop giving them easy looks. Our goalies are keeping us in games more than we need them to. Just keep building on what we've already done. And you guys coming off your first road trip last weekend in Charleston. How much you enjoy those road trips? Oh, they're a lot of fun. Just with the boys all weekend. 
Junior fans, this is Lee Ford, Adam Cuspel. Adam, thank you very much. Thank you.